Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different to what I usually talk about. It's not really music related, it's just more to do with what's going on in my life and mainly about my record collection. I know a lot of people haven't come to this channel from the vinyl community, a lot of you guys have come from the progressive rock community, but uh, when I first started my channel I was very much involved with the vinyl community. I mean my first video that I ever made is about my problems with the with the community and well, I actually rewatched that video fairly recently and I, I do stick by what I said three years ago I still still stand by it but before we begin today's video let me tell you the album of the day I'm so excited about this I'm so excited in the background here we have Magba by Gojira and Gojira a band I'm really getting into at the moment I've been listening to them pretty much non-stop for the past month or so and they are absolutely amazing and this is a 2016 release which is perfect for people who don't want just guttural vocals but also like the more melodic singing as well. May the main kind of era of, era of Gojira that I've been listening to is like the really early stuff so listening to this album was like whoa this is what I want more of this so this is a fantastic record and I highly recommend to all you people if you do not know of it yet. Let's start with the video. Downsizing. This has been one of the most difficult things to do probably in my life ever as of right now <laughs> mainly because vinyl means so much to me and music means so much to me that having to let go of it it's it's hard it's hard and it makes me sad i'm gonna make this video today just explaining why i'm downsizing my collection and where i'm going from there i think a lot of people when they collect records especially when they start growing a bigger collection you lose track of what you actually have and you know, I've I've almost like bought duplicates of records before just because I didn't even remember that I've bought certain albums. There comes a point where you just got to do a big spring clean. It's summer, but summer clean and get rid of what you just don't listen to or what you maybe listened to a while ago, but you just don't care for anymore, which is a lot of my collection to be honest. This isn't just a me decision, this is a decision that we've made as a family. We've been going through our collection. Our vinyl collection is so so big that it's so easy to get lost in it and just find stuff that's like that you didn't even realize that you had and it was a very 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 long process of taking down every single album that's that's here, writing it down and making the difficult decisions to keep them or sell them or give them away. The first reason as to why we've decided to downsize our vinyl collections is because we just simply don't have the space. We never even had the space to begin with. We just had to improvise in some way and it would just fit. We ended up buying loads of those um, like crates that you can get, like the plastic crates where you can put all your albums in them because the shelves just couldn't hold any more and obviously I don't want to squeeze my vinyl so it gets destroyed so we had to get a bunch of these boxes and we ended up having to get a load of them. These collections were just too big and it, they, these cases were so bulky that they take they would end up taking up more room and then you just run out of space. So that's that's a big one is we just simply we're over capacity. You know, we cannot have all these albums anymore like there's too many. You know, I want to save some space for albums I want in my collection. Number two, and a big reason as to why we're selling a lot of them on, is because a lot of them were impulse buyers. And usually impulse buyers can be a good thing, because you'll impulsively buy something and find out you really like it. But with a lot of these albums, we just impulsively bought them because they came under the progressive rock sphere. We really just wanted to enjoy them because it was something to talk about in the videos. We didn't end up actually ever listening to them. We'd buy them but they would either have been like just opened and never played or still completely sealed. And I would much rather these albums that don't get played get played by someone else and get taken care of by someone else rather than them gathering dust on our shelves because there's no point them being here if they're not going to get played. That's the whole point of vinyl, you know? And going back to the whole space issue, there's too many. We can't listen to all these albums because there's too many of them. Um, I have this problem with my CD collection as well, but that's a conversation for another day. So many albums that just never got listened to that need new homes. And I'll talk about that more later. Number three is kind of going back to the space issues thing. 
I really, really, really just want to minimise my collection. I really want a smaller collection than what I have now. So I've been very, very strict about what I'm selling on and giving away. Like, my kind of thought process was, will I ever listen to this? How much do I actually like this? Have I ever even listened to it before? Over 50% were, no, I hadn't listened to them, or I just bought them to be a completist, you know? I want a collection that's small, concise, and has what I'll listen to on a regular basis rather than so many albums and not listening to them because there's so many now, it's so overwhelming to be like, what shall I listen to? I, I wanna listen to, I don't know, prog. What do I wanna listen to? You know, I'll sit there for hours like, what do I listen to? And I wanna be able to just like have a, that's the one I wanna listen to. And the last point I wanted to make was the amount of albums we bought just for the sake of buying them, which is, I kind of already covered earlier, but we kind of just bought them either A, to complete the collection, or B, just to have something to talk about in the videos. And a lot of these albums were recommended by you guys. We'd listen to like a couple of the songs and be like, oh, we really like those songs, and then we'd buy the albums, but we'd never actually listen to the albums. So they're much better off somewhere else, and I, I want to stop buying things for the sake of buying them, because the amount of times I've gone into a record store and just been like, oh, I know that band. I'm gonna get that album, knowing like nothing about the band or the album itself, but just buying it because for the, for the sake of it, <laughs> you know? And I don't like that, I would rather use my save up my money and use my money for an album that I really, really want, rather than an impulse buy. And yeah, so that's the main kind of bulk of the video about why we're downsizing. So the big question is, where are these albums going? What am I doing with them? So I have listed all the albums that I don't want and my dad doesn't want all on our Discog store. They're all up for sale. Feel free to check them out. There is so much progressive rock in there. I feel like there's something for everyone in there. Don't feel obliged to do it. Let me see. Um, um, it sounds like a little bit of a shameless plug, but vinyl is something that everyone can enjoy. Records are just such a great gift to the world. You can gift people some albums and rather than choosing Amazon, you can choose a small business. But yeah all on Discogs, feel free to check it out. That is kind of what I wanted to talk about today and yeah. I shall see you guys in another video. I know this was a kind of short one today, but I didn't want to, you know, bloat it up and fill it with fluff and whatever. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.